You guessed it, I'm back in Chicago. Let's give you a quick spin of the terminal. Of course our bags are late as usual. So I'm just waiting for my bags. And they confiscated my skeletal and my tactical pin because I forgot I had them in my backpack. So if you're going to travel, make sure you check those things because otherwise they'll take them away from you. All right, I'll see you later. All right, so I'm in the hotel room and I have a fabulous view, I think, of a wall. Yes, indeed, I do. <laughs> the innards of some buildings. But it's a little room, which is fine. I definitely need to turn up the or turn the air on. <laughs> hey. Let's go ahead and crank it down. It's hot. Hot. Oh, it's hot. So let's see what we got. This is the bathroom, of course. The closet. Yeah, check. The bed. And then that's it. It's a little place. I chose this one because it's one of our company's preferred hotels and it's less expensive than most of the hotels in this town. Um, I am really close to the river and I'm close to um, Trump Tower. Um, so, oh, look at that. It says, nice to meet you, Claire, on the TV. <laughs> so I'm gonna get settled in here and I'm not sure, but I'm probably gonna go out in a little while, maybe get some food or something. So I'll check back in. Oh, I'm here for work, by the way. If you were curious. Well, I had to change rooms because my room was a so freaking hot. And so here we are. A different view. The <laughs> view down the street. Yay. Buildings. And a different sort of color scheme to everything. More. What this is? What is this? Just a little weird cubby hole. Get through your wires and stuff. <laughs> Bathroom. All right, you. Oh. Oh, it's a door to nowhere. A mirror to nowhere. So yeah, this is the closet. It's more of a wardrobe than a closet, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. She said I would have more control, but I don't actually see the thermostat. Um, <laughs> where is it, little lady? Oh, there it is. Oh. Let's figure this out, shall we? Okay, right hands off. This one will only go to 65, which is fine. Room set. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right, so here we are. Hoping that this cools down. You can see how red my face is. And I took my blood pressure medicine and everything. So uh, it was hot in that room. And when I opened the door, it was like cool breeze came across me. So we're going to give this a shot.
managing things like our software. So a lot of them are experimental, right? So, Being touristy. So let me just talk to you about pizza for a minute because I love pizza and of course Chicago is like pizza town right but this place right here it's called the pizza boss and it's a truck and they have a wood fire uh, stove oven in there and it is so amazing and so I'm waiting for my pizza right now it takes like 10 minutes to make it but it's worth every second it's like 15 bucks for a personal pizza and it's also worth every penny so I'll show you when I'm done I'll show you what it looks like when they give it to me I'll put a picture in I'm so excited hello all right then, uh, it is my last day um, in Chicago. It's Friday, and <laughs> I always do a run through uh, to make sure that I've packed up everything and I'm not forgetting anything. So I open all the door drawers and doors and check all the stuff, um, which I've mostly done. I got to check the drawers out here, but um, last night we went to. Uh, this like bar and grill type place um, so we went to the this bar and anywhere here if you when you start out let's say you start out and there's everybody's just kind of talking or whatever you know it's not a big deal um, by the end of the night or by the end of the time that you're there it is so loud that you have to yell at each other so my throat hurts my voice sounds funky because <clears throat> I was just yelling <laughs> um, I hung out with some of my some of the people that work with me but they're on a different team than me and it was it was a lot of fun um, getting to hang out and, <laughs> and get to know these people better I know that sounds like a weird thing to say but while we're sitting here talking I gotta tell you my bird story so and I didn't take any pictures and I didn't film because I was truly truly I was panicking um, so I'm walking I walked from the hotel to work yesterday and it's it's only about a 15 20 minute walk so not a bad walk especially the weather here has been fantastic um, and I see this little brown thing on the ground and I'm like what the hell is that and so I, I stop and look at it and it looks at, back at me and it's a little tiny bird like probably that like about that big and he, he or she looks terrified it's it's not moving it's just it, it's <coughs> sorry it's breathing and it's alive but it's just it just seems like it's frozen in terror you know what I mean so I think I gotta get it out of this walkway because people don't, pay, a lot of people don't pay attention um, and I did not want this poor thing to get mushed or whatever. So I got my phone and I scooped it up under its feet, you know, and it got up on my phone and it was hanging on and I walked over to this wall to put it close to the wall so it would be out of the path and when I went to put it, because I went like that to put it down, it jumped on my leg and it held onto my pants and I was <laughs> at that point <laughs> that's where I'm like I want to keep I want to put it in my pocket and take it with me <laughs> um but so I I scooped it up and it got on my hand on the back of my hand and it was holding on and I walked it back over to the wall and I tried to put it down on the ground again and I was looking around to see if there was because, you know, it's, I'm in the middle of the city, so there's not really any... I mean, there are trees, and there are these planter boxes and stuff, but there's not really, like, a... You know, like a... Nearby trees, or whatever. So, but I'm looking around thinking, are there any planter boxes anywhere? Are there trees nearby? No. So, I, I start to call my husband, because I'm freaking out. 
I'm like, what do I do? I don't want to leave him. I don't want to leave the bird. I don't want to, I don't want anything to happen to him. So I call my husband and as soon as he answers the phone, the bird flies away. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God. So I went, went into work, but that little guy was so cute. And so, I mean, I, I know he was just freaked out and I, I just wanted to make sure he was okay, and I'm not, I'm still kind of worried about him because I don't think he's okay. I think he might have, because you know around here they fly into windows and stuff a lot, and um, I, I'm afraid he probably did that and, and was stunned and was just like, I didn't know where he was or something, so anyway, but that's what, that was my bird story, and he was so cute, he was so little. <laughs> um. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, but Chicago is, a, is such a cool, cool town. And it's got a lot of cool buildings and so much cool art and so many interesting, diverse people. It's a really amazing place. And uh, I know every city has its charms, you know. But this one, I guess, has just grown on me. And... Uh, I really, I really like being here. <laughs> it makes me smile to be here. It makes me smile to go outside and just see all the different people and, and hear all the different conversations. And it's just an amazing place. So, all right. Have a good day or good night wherever you are. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Click here to subscribe or click here to watch another video. I'll see you later, creepy popos.